Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten to Telos, been sitting in house arrest in Telos, and now we can finally move. Hooray! <laughs> now we can finally move around. So, we're gonna do... It's locked, so we're not going to do that. Uh, what about this one? Technically, we can walk into this one. And now we walk out. And we're good. <laughs> we just got away with doing that. Closing this. Because mercenaries are getting out of hand, and they're too much for TSF to handle. We need Republic troops to restore order. Or me. That's always a possibility. All right, apartment complex C. Apartment complex A. And I'm sure I can walk around these places freely. Hara, who are you? Hello there. Oh, this one I can read? <laughs> this one I'm allowed to read? Okay. Who are you? My name is Hara. I am an employee of the Zerka Corporation. What do you do here? I am a data processor. It is a thankless job and the pay is poor, but I have no choice but to take it. I am desperate in need of credits and there is little else for me to do. That or gamble, but that is what got me into this predicament in the first place. What is this predicament? I I used Romana, the girl of my heart, as collateral. I have a weakness for Bazak. You must understand, my hand was unbeatable. There was no way I could lose. But you did. Indeed, I did, and now Romana is indentured as a dancer to Dotan Het. No doubt she hates me. Well, yeah, you kind of sold her into dancing. I mean, I think any legitimately sensible woman would find that really atrocious. <laughs> like, there's no excuse for that. None. There's like literally none. <laughs> and of course the statement is of course you did make her a slave yeah that's basically what I just said that is why I'm working day and night selling my own life to Zerka that I might buy her back from Dotan but it will take months maybe years for me to amass those credits Dotan could take her away from here hmm Mm, perhaps I could be of assistance. You would do that for a stranger? Like I said, the amount is not small. Dotan Het demands 2,000 credits for her freedom. I'm sorry, 2,000? Two 2,000. my dude my bro how did you end up that much in debt and not think oh no I should stop <laughs> like dude <laughs> I'll see what I can do truly then I wish you good luck for no amount of pleading begging or otherwise has worked for me that's because you're an idiot, my dude. <laughs> okay. Anyway, time to move on to this room, I guess. Well, foot locker is open. Chemicals. Okay, well, that ain't terrible. Hey, what are you doing in my apartment? Oh. Sorry, I was just looking around. <laughs> Looked like you were doing more than just looking. Sorry, I just figured... You figured what? You just break into my apartment and take everything I own. Are you crazy? All you had was two chemicals. <laughs> I literally thought this was abandoned. I mean, when you put it that way. Yeah, I thought so. Get out of here before I get the TSF. Okay. I'll be going now. Bye. 
That's why I didn't break into the other apartment that was locked. Well, um... <laughs> no one else seems to be saying the same thing to me. Okay. Well, I, um... I'm embarrassed. But I think that's normal. Given the fact that I did kind of raid his apartment a little bit. Okay, let's open the doors, and that's its own zone. I'd rather not do that. This is Bumani Exchange Corp. Also, that person just kind of phased into being. But, uh, that... That naming convention is a little too convenient, don't you think? Just a little. There's a place called the Exchange Corp on the Telo Station. There's a criminal syndicate called the Exchange. A little bit on the nose, don't you think? Just a little bit. Anyway, let's move on. To the other side. of the module. And this is the Athorian compound. Welcome. How may I help you? Moza sent me to speak with Chodo Hobat. Moza who talked very quickly and made it impossible to keep up with him the entire time. Ah, you are the Jedi Moza spoke of. I will open the doors for you now and inform Chodo Hobat. Is it just all Athorians that talk way too f Sorry, Reggie. <laughs> Sorry. 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 But is it all Athorians that talk way too fast for me to be able to keep up with them? It's literally all of them so far. It has literally been all of them. But I guess it works either way medical unit interesting Onderon diplomat hello there and greetings from Isis and Onderon who are you I'm a diplomat from Queen Talia on Onderon ah. my stay was supposed to have been shorter but the contract disputes over the restoration project have prolonged it why are you here? The Athorians negotiated the export of flora and fauna from Onderon, but with their disagreements with Zerka, the status of our arrangement is in the air. Ah, I see. So everything that's going on with Zerka is currently screwing over the plans. Gotcha. Well, good to see that Onderon's still doing pretty well, given, you know, our interference in their realm of affairs. And... Any... Ooh, there's a lab station over there. I'm gonna pop into here. Skill too low. I call shenanigans. Don't I have something to open that? Open medical supplies container. Slice authentication codes. And bada bing. I guess I did it. <laughs> I sliced into it without spending any spikes whatsoever. Okay. Well, interesting. Alrighty. Wow. I can already make advanced med packs. Earlier than I expected, but I'll take it. Um, bio antidote system. Nerve Enhancement System? Oh, man. Strength Package? Oh, how could I turn that down? Considering I kind of need strength for all of my abilities. Yeah, how could I turn that down? I'm going to make one of those. One. Just one. And let's break down... I don't need an Adrenal Stamina... Not in the slightest. Huh. I just realized most of my stuff 
is uh, most of my stuff that wasn't already made into chemicals is in a locker in the security office. Oops. <laughs> I guess chemicals and components are outside the realm of what they can take off my person. So uh, there we go. We got something for me. Question is, can I equip it? The answer is no. <laughs> I made it and I can't use it. Oh, no. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Uh, I might fix that. I might... I might do a little save scumminess. I might. I'm tempted. I'm sorely tempted. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. Yeah, I totally didn't just check to find out that the autosave was pretty much exactly the same point it was prior, so there's no point. No, not at all. I didn't just do that. No. No, that wasn't me, no, 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 Vivarium. Well, look at that. Bashani plant, I'm assuming that is. This appears to be a Bashani plant, one of the many specimens the Athorians are monitoring for the restoration project. Leave it alone. Welcome to the restoration project's Vivarium. What do you do here? I monitor the growth of the plant specimens collected here. Each of the species found on the planet's surface are represented here. It is important that we observe growth patterns in a controlled environment before large areas are transplanted. Cool. And I was able to read everything you said. Fantastic. So, this is not the section I was supposed to go into. The Telosian Council's inability to stand up to the Zerka group comes at a great cost for our herd. Well, it's nothing I can control. Well, hi there, Moza and Chodo Habat. Ah, it gladdens me that you came. I'm Chodo Habat, leader of the Athorians here. I'm sorry to impose our troubles upon you, but I did not know where to turn until I sensed your arrival. You sensed my arrival? Yes, I am a priest of my people, an adept in the Force. I sensed an echo within the Force upon your arrival. It's a subtle disturbance, unless one is actively listening for it. I suspected you were one of the remaining Jedi and hoped that you could help us. This is why I sent Moza to seek you out. I managed to say that before the text moved. I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> Moza said you could heal me. What did he mean? The echo I felt upon your arrival was not a natural thing. It spoke of a great pain, not of the body, but of the spirit. It is as if you gave, once felt the force flow through you, then it was torn away, brutally and quickly. The echo comes from the hollows where it once flowed through. Interesting. That's an interesting way to put it. I once felt the force, yes, and it is slowly returning. It is a most unusual wound you carry. If you would permit me to examine you, perhaps I could help restore some of what you lost. Your speech is filled with maybes, and perhaps. You are bold to make promises of healing while the world under your care burns and dies. You may be able to help, but there is always a price, is there not? Do not mistake me. It is not our desire to see any living thing suffer, but the suffering of Telos is all that consumes us. Tell me, do you know of the problems our restoration efforts face? Uh, yeah, I kind of do. I'd like to hear your perspective on the matter. The Telosian government summoned my herd ship to Citadel Station and asked what we, that we help them rebuild their broken planet. We progressed for a time, but then our troubles with Zerka began. The corporation has gained great influence here. We can do little to stop them. 
I fear that if Zerka continues to interfere in the restoration project, it will never be completed. Telos rem will remain barren and lifeless, and all our work, that of the Republic, the Telosians, and my own people, will have been for nothing. Why would they allow that to happen? Zerka is a powerful corporation, with many lobbyists in the Senate and throughout the galaxy. Of course they are. Because it just has to have real-life analogs, don't it? <sighs> of course. I can't escape the stink of capitalism ever. Ah! Okay. What do you intend to do? Our first goal is to get the restoration project moving forward again. The Republic originally provided a droid intelligence to Citadel Station that would help manage the logistics of the project. It vanished some time ago. What do you mean, vanished? How? That is not known. It may have been an accident. Perhaps the droid intelligence was overtaxed by the staggering size of the project and became irrational. Some among my herd suspect theft. A droid intelligence of that sophistication would fetch a high price on the black market. Others fear its disappearance as a result of sabotage by Zerka or some other organization that seeks to slow the re restoration project or discredit us. But the how or why of it does not matter. At great expense, my herd has acquired a second, somewhat lesser droid intelligence to take its place. Uh, the Telosian government has offered a small escort, but I had hoped that you might see it safe transition from the docks to here. Might you aid us in this matter? Some of that I missed, but I got the basic gist. Um, sure, I'll see it to you safely. My thanks. I will send word to my people. They will be awaiting your arrival, arrival at Bay 2, Dock Module 126. I'll return with the droid intelligence. Cool. Alrighty. Hit a little bit of the burps, I apologize. <laughs> if they came out on microphone... <laughs> I was trying my damnedest not to. Alright. And we're done with that. And forgive me, Chodo, but the human. I could feel his suffering. What? I did not feel it until he stood before us. But then it filled my senses. Have you ever felt such an intensity before? Only once before. The day I came to Telos and strode it upon its ashen surface. It is a planet's worth of pain. I do not know how he endures. It is because he has no choice. Perhaps in helping to heal a planet, it will help him become whole again. Well. Huh. That was some exposition dumped on us only after we left the room. But hey, as long as it gets the story moving, right? At least that's my opinion of it. Anywho, we did the thing. Now it's time to move. Alrighty. Fantastic. All right. We avoid that... Wait a minute. <laughs> he popped up. He was not there until I started moving. <laughs> uh, Reggie, please help me figure out that that was... Not me going completely and utterly insane. Please, please tell me that much. Entertainment Module 081. And I think that's how you get to the security office? I think. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Who are you? Oh, you're a TSF officer. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. We need Republic assistance. Yeah. Yeah, you do. There's a lot of stuff going wrong. Not much control I have on it. Merchant. Oh, it's a merchant and they have a workbench. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I have nothing. Why am I bothering to do things when I have nothing? I'm dumb. 
Please, I don't want any trouble. It was an accident, I swear. That didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here. It looked like you wanted to make a fool of him. No, no, that wasn't the way it was. I did not mean to disturb your drinking. Allow me to leave you and go on my way. I will trouble you no longer. Not even an apology. That won't do at all. Come on, man. He's basically been apologizing up and down. What's going on here? This Sullaston here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. Uh-huh. I'd like to hear his side of the story. Oh, thank you. It's very simple. I was at the bar enjoying my drink when these brutes here elbowed their way up to the bar, spilling my beverage all over the two of us. Then they dragged me out here. Look at those two. I know what they want. They send me home with my limbs twisted, body battered, and spirit broken. You must help me. Wow. I mean, yeah, that does sound exactly what they want to do. Just based off of their tone of voice. So, uh, I'm not letting you lay a hand on them. Just my luck. Someone who wants to be a hero. Why don't you run along before you get hurt? Uh... Yeah, you asked for it. Oh. Well. <laughs> I don't think I expected that response. But it's fine. Light side points! Haha! -ha! Well, the force part didn't work, but it's fine. I'll... There we go. And you went down. That's good. The mouthy one went down. That's good enough for me. Alright. And we keep doing the beat down. Why am I not doing any swinging? Okay, that was weird. But whatever. And eventually he's going down. Whew. Oh, thank you. I was completely helpless. Those mercenaries are too much. I wish they could, something could be done about them. Like, I don't know. Kick them off. Kick them all off the station. You know, they, they probably came on here on a ship. I could probably just get them kicked off off another ship that's just heading out. You know, that's probably allowed. Or something like that. One would think that would be allowed. Anyway. Well, why are they allowed to do this? The TSF isn't able to do that much in keeping the peace on the station. Well, I can't talk. Circus, okay. The, the Republic must do something about this, but it's anyone's guess as to whether or not they will. Okay. Zerka has hired those mercenaries to do their dirty work, and the TSF can't control them. So the Republic needs to send more forces so that way it can actually be kept calm. But wouldn't Zerka just hire more mercenaries at that point? I don't think they thought that through. Anyway, you should leave in case their friends come looking for them. You speak the truth. I will stay away from this cantina until things settle down. Please accept this reward. Thank you. No, thank you. I will try to be more careful in the future. There was no way I was able to read that, but I somehow managed to cobble it together. A hundred credits. Cool. I'm okay with that. Especially considering I did all that fighting barehanded. No weapon or nothing. That's all the cantina. Don't need to go in there yet. What I need to do is get my stuff. Get all of my stuff. Which is all the way over here. A protocol droid. Hi there. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF station. How may I be of assistance? Uh, Lieutenant Gren said to come here to get the Ebon Hawk and the rest of my possessions out of impound. I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. I'm sorry, what? The TSF believes it was stolen. Um, what? currently investigating. What do you mean, gone? It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' service instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen 
and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it! That stupid T3 unit stole our ship. It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us, laughing at me. That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebonhawk leaving the system. Wait, you're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Telos' atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in residential module OA2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. Well, there's that at least. Was there anything in the system about our ship? There was a query regarding the Ebonhawk's ID signature sent from the Paradis mining facility. However, all data collected in response to the query has been deleted. It is likely that this information was removed when the vessel's transfer request was modified. Okay. So when it came to looking up info about the ship, that also got deleted. Hmm. Can I get my possessions back at least? Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. Good. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. Thank you. Will you. Find them in one of the security lockers. Or all of them. Because I'm taking all of them. You lost my ship. Okay. Isn't there anything more the TSF can do? Not beyond investigating the matter and extending our offer of free room aboard. Of course. Okay. I'll be going now. Bye. I'm taking that. The camera freaking out. <laughs> I'm sorry if that made anyone sick. Uh, taking all of that. Taking all of that. Wow, I have a lot of crap. Wow, I have a lot of crap. Wow, I have a lot of crap. And then there's that. Okay. Alright. Well, time to get re-equipped with everything now, ain't it? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, pop that back on, pop that back on, pop, uh, break some of these down, I'm sure. That I might still be able to use. That I can use, but that's because its minimum constitution is 12, and I can reach that. Um, that's decent enough. This is good enough, and this is good enough. There we go. And time to put my swords. Huh. Since when did I have vibro swords? I knew I had vibro blades, but I didn't know I had vibro swords. I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. Just... Didn't expect it at all. Alright, and then... Blaster Rifle is only slightly better than Advanced Mining Laser. <laughs> and this one's the one that's good. <laughs> that's weird. This one is at least upgradable, though. There's at least that going for it. Okay, anyway. Moving on. Uh, we shall put these mining lasers in your hands, and that last one will is pure crap, so it's not going to work. So, there's that, and with you, there's that. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, Atten, give you the ray, that, 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 I guess... Um, that, I guess, <laughs> look like a doofus, uh, put those on, I guess, put that on you, because that's better than nothing, I guess, wait, it's a minor uniform, yeah, the mining uniform wasn't that bad, so sure, why not, uh, there's that, uh, there's no thing for that, and...
that was yours. This is for her. There we go. Much better. Okay. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Wait, no, there was armor for him. There's armor for him. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think military suit. Yeah, that was his. I think. Maybe. I don't. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> I don't remember anymore. Uh, okay. Yeah. No. It, it was his. All right. Look at me. Look at me. I look so good. All right. Look all good and equipped and ready for action. Security door. There's Lieutenant Gren. Oh, here's our cells. Our cells that we started out in. While here. Something I can help you with? Yeah. How will you recover from the destruction of the Paragus Mining Facility? Was that really the first question that was going to be on my mind? I feel like my first question would have been, where's my fucking ship? <laughs> anyway. How will you recover? To be honest with you, I just don't know. Oh, Joy. We desperately rely on the fuel to keep Citadel Station running. If we can't find a new fuel source soon, we'll be in bad shape. How bad? There's enough fuel in the reserves to keep Citadel Station from falling out of orbit, and for managing the restoration project, but not much more than that. Can't the Republic increase funding for the station? If only were that easy. The Republic's tight on credits right now, still recovering from the war. Mm. Sparing all it can, but it's not enough. We relied almost completely on Paragus for our fuel. It's hard to make up for a planet's worth of fuel exports. That's fair. Is there anything that can be done? Absolutely. We need to find a new fuel service, sign contracts, make agreements. A soldier like me is not good at that sort of thing. Mm, fair enough. I'll uh, keep my eyes out if there's some sort of finder's fee. Tell you what. You find fuel contracts for Citadel Station, and I'll be sure to pay you for it. Soldier's honor. Better get those credits ready. I'll be waiting. Sounds good to me. Something I can help you with? Also, uh, do you have any work I could do? Would you be interested in helping us by bringing in some bounties? Mm, tell me about the bounties. This isn't a bounty, so to speak. But we're looking for a man named Batono who's been missing for some time. Also, Batona. two ruthless killers that we'd managed to capture and hold here in the TSF station escaped and are currently at large. We're also looking for any information about the imposter Batu Rem. Hmm. So tell me about the criminals. They were spotted by security cameras in the docking area and we quickly moved in to apprehend them. We captured them shortly after you were placed under house arrest. I some see. Some sort of electrical malfunction. A side effect of the false Batu Rem's attack enabled them to escape. Mm. They overpowered their guards and escaped into the Citadel. What do you know about the criminals? There are two of them. A Rodian and a Deveronian. Mm -hmm. They're well armed and obviously extremely dangerous. Mm -hmm. They haven't left the station as far as we know. Okay. I'll see what I can dig up. Alright, just be careful. We've already lost two good officers to them. No. That sucks. Okay. So there are already cop killers. That's not a good look when you're trying to escape the system. Alright. I want to ask you about another body. What is a it? bounty. Uh, Batono. Batono was the overseer of dock operations for Zerka and was assisting us in uncovering the elusive black market smuggling operation that appears to be operating at a Citadel station. Oh. A few weeks ago, he suddenly disappeared and hasn't been heard from since. Ah, do you have any leads? Not much, other than what I've already told you, and the fact he was investigating Docking Bay 3. I spoke with some Zerka guards near the Docking Bay, but they didn't seem like they wanted to cooperate with a TSF officer. Maybe you'll have more luck. Maybe. I'll see what I can dig up. Thank you. Keep me updated. Uh, of course. Other questions about the Batu Rem situation. You mean the assassin who tried to kill you, right? The real Batu Rem's one of us. And he's off the station on leave. I hope mm -hmm. Batu's okay, though I'm expecting the worst. Shame. He was a good kid. Yeah, that would be a shame. Are you sure that wasn't the real Batu Rem? Uh, I'm pretty sure that that probably wasn't. Is there any way to find out the killer's movements on the station? 
Yes, we looked into it and found that he arrived via a tramp freighter in Docking Bay 3. Interesting. Unfortunately, the cargo and passenger manifest as well as departure location was not disclosed to us. That's all the information I have for you. I'll see what I can dig up. If you find anything about the real Batu Rem, we'd like to know if he's safe. Fair enough. I'll be going. And I guess I have all of those quests to do now. Okay. Interesting. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand, and they're too much for the TSF to handle. Yeah. Republic troops to restore order. Yep. Very true. Also, this is the docking bay, isn't it? Yep, this is to the docks. Okay. Well, I didn't I did need to head over here. For multiple reasons now. Might as well. Alright. Traveler, traveler, there's a Duros. Doesn't match the description of any of the bounties. You're... Yeah, none of them. None of them. So you're Habat Saren boy, hmm? Um... I'm helping the Athorians, yes. So I heard. You should consider Zorka's offer. If you return the droid to Executive Lorso, she'll pay you far better than the Athorians. It has nothing to do with money. The planet, then. You don't really seem... You don't really think those Ithorian... Let me try that sentence again. The planet, then. You don't really think those Ithorians could do better than Zerka, do you? At least they're not as dirty as Zerka. Spare me, please. No one likes the corporations. They think they take advantage of the defenseless, destroy the environment, underpay their workers, the great cause of evil in the galaxy. But they get the job done. I don't believe you. I don't believe you at all. And I say this having worked for capitalism for ten fucking years. I'm not interested. I can tell you're too thick-headed to see through the lies you've told yourself, but if you have any doubt, talk to Jane Alorso at the Zerka offices in Residential 081. Let's go. Yeah. I have no reason to talk to her. None. None at all. Okay. Well. That's Bay 2. What do we got over here? Bay 3. Well, hello. This is Docking Bay 3. If you have no business here, please be on your way. I'd like some information about a passenger that came through here. I'm sorry, but I cannot release that data to you. The confidentiality of travelers who come through our bay is one of our primary concerns. Don't worry, I'll be discreet with my inquiries. The killer is dead anyways. Perhaps, even so, it will incur some expense for me to find the information you seek. How much would this expense be? I believe 25 credits would be sufficient. 25 credits it is, then. Excellent, now let me just bring up the passenger manifest. What was the passenger's name? Batu Rem. Very good. Yes, here it is. His departure destination was Narshida. He was scheduled to return on a shuttle. That's all the information I have. In our business, the less information we gather, the less we have to give out. Our passengers are doubly protected. I'll be going now. Fair enough. This is a private docking bay, owned and operated by Zerka Corporation. Unless you have business here, please move along. I'm looking for a man named Batona. Doesn't sound familiar. Your best bet is to direct your inquiry to Jenna Lorso. You can find her at the Zerker offices in Residential Module 081. You don't know, but he oversaw these docks. Look, I'm paid to guard the stocking bay, not answer your questions. Inquiries about Zerka employees should be directed to the branch's executive officer. Zerka employee? Then you do know Batana. You must be mistaken. Please move along. You can tell me what you know, or I can hurt you, and then you will tell me what you know. Alright, alright, I know that you work for Zerka, but that's all. 
You have to believe me. Talk to Lorso. If anyone knows more, it's her. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Didn't think that that would incur a little bit of dark side. I probably should have. That was probably a little more obvious than I uh, should have expected. <laughs> well, is what it is. Hello. Stock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF investigation. Move along. Oh, come on. It's fine, I guess. All right. Okay. Transit. Oh, I can transit to another module. That's what that's for. Talk to you. Greetings. Jota Habat sent me to help deliver the replacement restoration droid. Yes, he sent word ahead of you. Please enter. They're waiting for you inside. Are they now? I'm kind of curious what they're waiting for me for. Can I get any of these? No, I cannot. I have to open this. And there we go. Ta-da! And we get the other droid. I'm glad you're here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Thank you, Han. Yes, we are all pleased to see you. Jodo Hobot has said that another would arrive to help us. We... Uh-oh. Well, hello. Who are you? How did you get in here? I don't think it matters when they're in here with weapons in their hands. I think the question of how they got here no longer matters. So we murder now. All right, time to beat you. There we go. And we go after you. And start beating you. And never mind, you're already down. And finish you. There we go. I'm grateful for your assistance. That was most terrible. I wonder who could have ordered such a thing. An assassin's tool. It is no surprise that hired killers would carry weapons such as these. Actually, Master, it appears that it has a number of illegal modifications. Interesting. I believe you are correct, though I am by no means an expert. Such modifications are illegal on Citadel Station. Lieutenant Gren should be informed so that he might conduct an investigation. But more importantly, you must take the droid back to Chodohobat. I fear there may be more attacks if we do not see it quickly to safety. Well... That's not good. Uh, yes, well, I'll get the droid back to the Athorians right away. And a modified holdout blaster. Wait, was there other... Oh, there was more loot to have. Ooh. 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 Okay. Not a lot, but it was something. And I'm going to see if there's anything in here. I'm sure there's something. Haha, <laughs> I can go in here. Oh. I don't want to bust it open. A, I don't even know if it'll work. And B, probably would just look bad. So, we're just going to move on. <laughs> just going to move on entirely. Oh, I have to open it with this stupid thing. Okay. Well, we did a lot of stuff. And we managed to uh, save the droid's uh, escort, technically. Huh. So now we have to head back. That's going to be a thing. Shuttle to Entertainment 081. Okay. So we have to head back to uh, 082, but that will be next episode uh, because, well, 
we're already at the length of time for this one. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat, playing games and trying to help the galaxy as much as I can, but also apparently doing some dark sidey stuff in the process because I didn't really think about it. But we're going to help as much as we can, even if that involves beating someone's face in, because that's probably going to involve that just a slight little bit for you.